Hi everyone, and welcome to Bluebeam Review. My name is Ari, I'm a Bluebeam Certified Instructor with Digital Drafting Systems. Today, we're going to learn how to use Quantity Link in Excel to bring information from review onto a spreadsheet. There are two ways to approach using Quantity Link. We could create a summary and export all of our data to Excel first. So for example, I can open up my markups list and then go to the summary button and click on either CSV summary or XML summary. That would allow me to take any existing markups and bring their data into Excel. And I don't have to bring all of the columns in my markups list. I can go to filter and sort, for example, and I can choose which markups I want to bring in. So for example, if I just want to get my quantities analyzed and perform cost analysis in Excel, then I could have all of these columns on and the rest would be off. For example, if we go to columns, now I can take that idea one step further and turn off certain columns and just keep other columns on just like this. So there's different ways of filtering and sorting and turning certain columns on and off. Now, instead of doing that, I have already created an Excel sheet. This was a bit of a manual process, but all I did was is I have my column headers at the top and I have some materials ready to go. So all I need to do now is bring in my area and I could type in my own units and my cost per unit and then I can perform the total cost with Excel so I can use Excel's formulas in order to get that. So that's what I'm going to do today. But just so you guys know, there's many different ways of doing this. So let me close my markups list and let's get started. We're going to go into Excel right now. Let's go into Excel and let's use quantity link. If you select more than one cell at a time and you right click, you're not going to see quantity link. It will always appear at the top of your right click list. So all we have to do is choose one cell. So we're going to get the quantity for concrete right here. We're going to get its area in particular. We could do volume or other different units if we need, but we're just going to calculate area for now. So I'm going to right click on this and there's quantity link. Now, if this is your first time doing this on this sheet, then create will be here and preferences. And besides these two options, there will be more options that will appear soon. Let's click on preferences before we create our quantity. These are going to be our settings for it. So this apply cell fill color means that when there's a quantity in this cell, it's basically going to be an off shade of gray. So instead, we can give it a bit more of a color. So for example, since we're getting everything from Bluebeam, let's make it a nice light blue. Then we can include all the units involved and that will be very useful. And we could also include the markup quantity. So we're going to turn that on and click OK. Now let's right click again, quantity link and click on create. Now it's going to make sure that review is open. So that's what that was checking. I have an open license, so it was checking for my license. Now we can select certain files to get quantities from. So I'm going to click on add. There's also a drop down here that allows me to add not just single files, but folders with many different PDFs. So we can do multiple quantities at once. So I'm just going to add one file. It's going to be the example floor plan. Here it is. I'm going to click on open. And then the file is going to eventually load. There it is. It's showing all six pages. This is good. Now I'm going to click OK. And now we can create the link. So this is the part where you need to go back and forth between review and Excel and make sure that you're getting the right quantity. So for example, this total right here, we can click on the drop down, and it's asking what kind of quantity we're trying to calculate. So the area is what we want. We have many different kinds here, so we'll do area. And this is the part which will get a little tricky. You need to make sure you're getting the right markups. So you can sort it by subject if you want. And in this case, I know which subject I'm looking for. I have markups that are associated with materials under an exterior and an interior subject. So I can do exterior and I could just end it there and just get all of the areas that are under exterior. Or I can basically click on this drop down right here and get something a bit more specific. So in this case, we're looking for concrete. So I'm going to go to material. Here's my concrete for exterior. We'll click on that. And if I wanted to, I can continue doing that. So I can include different kinds of quantities all at the same time in one cell. Now, in this case, I just want all of my concrete exterior materials. So that will be good enough. And I can give this a name. So this cell name is going to be concrete area. And we're just going to uh, click OK. Now we could say total. So I think that will actually give it some more context because it's going to include all of the different concrete markups, not just one of them. And I have a few of them in the drawing. So concrete total area. Let's make sure I got that space correctly. And now I'm going to click OK. There it is. Our quantity has already put itself in. It even added in the units. 
and the cost per unit. And it's a good thing that I already had these columns ready, but I didn't have to worry. It would have just put these units in their cells right after the quantity itself. Now let's make sure that this quantity is correct. So 462.4, we're going to go back into review. Let's go into our markups list and let's find one of those concrete markups. So we're going to sort by subject, keep going down until we get to exterior. There it is. And it looks like we have this concrete area here and this one right here. And we can tell because I labeled them appropriately. And if we go to our material column, they are both using the same concrete exterior. Now, it looks like the, the cost per unit was a bit incorrect. It showed it as two for some reason. So if we go back to Excel, that is a bit strange. So what we can do is, is we can just change that to three. This is not linked. It just brought in some data and it looks like it may have made a mistake, but we're going to check that and see what exactly happened. But if we add our quantities together, the areas right here, it looks like they do total about 462. So now all we need to do is do some math. And so all we need to do now is we're going to do our area times the cost per unit and we'll get our total cost. So let's now use some formulas in Excel in order to calculate this. To get the total cost, all we need to do is go into our cell under total. We're going to use the equal sign. And as soon as we type it, we can now essentially select other cells. So we're going to select the area cell first. And there it is, concrete total area. That's its name. And then we're going to multiply it. So we'll use the star above the number eight. So shift and eight to get that star. And then three right here, which is D2. Perfect. And now that we're done, we just press enter. And there is our total cost. If concrete costs $3 per unit, then it's going to cost about 1,387 bucks to fill in a concrete area of $462 and four cents. And that's how we can use Excel and quantity link to begin to bring our information from review onto a spreadsheet. Now, before we finish the tutorial, I wanted to show you guys what happens when you change your units or your markups in review that have already been quantity linked. And I did some testing. And as you can see, the area right here total has changed from 464 to 463. So that was an automatic process and I'll show you how it works. All I have to do is have review in Excel open. And if I go into review and let's say that I want to change this concrete area to be a little bit different. So I'm just going to drag this grip to the right. I'm going to hold shift to keep it straight just like that. And then I can use this grip and move it as well. I can hold it straight and now it lines up perfectly and I still have a rectangle. And so there we are. We have a new concrete. And what exactly happened in Excel? The entire area has changed. Now it's much, much larger and therefore the total cost automatically updated. So this is a really powerful way to use review in Excel and to have a working set of quantities that you can change when you need to in a dynamic project. And that's how you can basically change different units in review in order for the quantities in Excel to update automatically. Thank you very much for watching our tutorial on quantity link and how we can use it to link our data in review and Excel. Once again, my name is Ari and I'm with Digital Drafting Systems. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day.